Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to our daily devotion inside. Today, I want to share with your devotion entitled, The Time is Now. The Time is Now. Genesis 39, verse 12 says, She grabbed his garment, saying, Lie down with me. Joseph left his garment in her hands and ran outside. You know, the time to buy insurance or life insurance is not the day you die. The time to install a smoke machine detector is not while your house is on fire. And the time to develop convictions in your life about holiness is not in the midst of an emergency. In all those, this example that I gave you, it's too late. Or at, at the very least, it's much harder after the fact came into existence. It's easier to prevent a crisis than to recover a crisis. One more time. It's easier to prevent a crisis than to recover from a crisis. You know, somehow in Genesis 39, Joseph was prepared for the crisis, crisis that hit him in Egypt. The most serious being a full-on attempt at seduction and immorality by the wife of his owner, the man who has entrusted everything to Joseph. When Potiphar's wife tried to attempt Joseph to, him, uh, to, to immorality, Joseph did what Paul would later advise Timothy to do when faced with temptation. In 2 Timothy 2 verse 22 says, Flee, run when you are tempted, run when you are tempted. Joseph took the one way of escape open to him. He fled, he ran for his life. Let's draw a biblical line in the sand today in your life and my life, beyond which you will not go. Don't wait for the crisis to consider your convictions. The time is now. If you and I are to, if, if you and I are to consciously build and draw a line, what and where the line is that we cannot cross when the time comes for the temptation, you and I will be able to see the line and put a full stop and flee from temptation. Amen. Sinclair Ferguson says, No temptation is more frequently before us than that of easing up. One more time. No temptation is more frequently before us than that of Easing up. When you and I are too relaxed, don't care. That is the greatest temptation in life. And when real testing comes, you and I will compromise. It may be immorality. It may be gossiping. It may be the words of slandering. It will be lifestyle. It may be drunkenness. It may be gambling. Uh, it may be, you know, a riches of the world that we gave our life, give our life to the die for the riches of the world. You know what? Addiction does not come one time. When it comes and you don't take care of it, don't deal with it, don't flee from it, you will get hooked one day sooner or later. Amen? Be careful. The time is now to make a stand before temptation comes and decide for your own life. Amen? You have a great day and God bless you. Father, bless our people with a great day in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.